Hi, my name is Russ Baker. In this section, we'll be looking at how to solve linear equations and confirm those solutions with a graphing calculator. The analytic method of solving linear equations is performed by combining the distributive property, the multiplication, addition, and subtraction properties, and combining like terms to make the original equation look simpler and simpler until a solution is finally at hand. We will consider only linear equations in this section. The basic form of a linear equation is ax plus b equals 0, where a is not equal to 0. Another way of writing this in a more general form is with function notation. f of x equals ax plus b. And again, a is not equal to 0. Finding a 0 of a function is the same as finding the solution of the equation. You just replace the f of x with a 0. Some equations involve fractions for most problems. That's done, solved by removing the denominators by multiplying the common denominator. Here's how it works. We're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the common denominator, which is 12. In doing so, that makes the denominators cancel out, and we're left with 4 times 2x plus 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 equals 13 times 6. Now we'll use the distributive property to get 8x plus 4 plus 3x minus 3 equals 78. We'll combine like terms. 11x plus 1 equals 78. Then 11x equals 77. And dividing both sides by 11 will give us our answer. x equals 7. We really need to check this to make sure that it checks in our original equation. And to do that, we must go back, and then we'll write 2, 7 plus 1 over 3, plus 7 minus 1 over 4 is equal to 13 halves. 14 plus 1 over 3, and 7 minus 1 is 6, 4 equals 13 halves. And here we'll get 14 plus 1 is 15 thirds plus 6 fourths equals 13 halves. And then we'll see that 15 thirds is 5, and 6 fourths is 3 halves. 5 halves is, 5 is 10 halves, plus 3 halves is indeed 13 halves, and our problem does check. Let's verify the results that we got analytically with a graphing calculator. We'll go to our graphing calculator, to the y equals menu, and we'll enter the le left side of the equation first. Parentheses 2x plus 1 divided by 3 plus parentheses x minus 1 parentheses divided by 4. Then we'll let y2 be 13 halves. Now we're going to graph that using zoom 6 to make sure that we're in the standard screen. The intersection of the two graphs is the solution to the equation. To find that 
solution, we can do second calc 5 intersect. Our first curve is y1. Our second curve is y2, so we hit enter each time there. Then we use our arrow keys to go as close to that intersection point as we can get. That's our guess, and we hit enter. And the calculator tells us that our answer is y equals 6.5, x equals 7. And we said that 7 was our answer. We can also do this in another manner using the graphing calculator. We can go back to the y equals menu. We can turn off y1, turn off y2 by putting our cursor over the equal signs. And then going to y3 and making that the difference of the two graphs. We can do that using our VARS menu and pushing over to YVARS and function and 1. Then we want to subtract Y2, so we go through the same process again. Function Y2. Now when we graph Y1 minus Y2, the solution to the equation will be the x-intercept. Now to find that point, now to find the coordinates of that point, we'll use second calc 2, 0. Our left bound can be 6, or we can use our calculator arrow keys. Our right bound could be 8, or we could use our arrow keys again. And then we get as close as we can, hit enter, and we see that our solution is 7, 0 checking our equation. Now solve this equation and check it using analytic means. You may want to eliminate the decimals or not as you desire. Turn the tape back on when you've completed the problem. Three, two. Here's the solution to the problem. Our first step was to remove the decimals by multiplying through by 100. That would make this 40x plus 60 times 100 minus x equals 45 times 100. The multiplying by a 100 will not change the 100 minus x inside. Now we'll use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. We can combine like terms to get 6,000 minus 20x equals 4,500. Then we want to subtract 6,000 from both sides. And divide both sides by negative 20. That will give us a positive answer of 75. You should be able to check your work analytically. We're going to go ahead and go to our graphing calculator and check our solution using the intersection of graphs method.